Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Human Echo When They Cry. Uh, before we begin, there are a couple things I want to go over that uh, were around my Let's Play. Uh, some criticisms, some things I didn't know, some things uh, people pointed out to me that were cool, and the cool little Easter egg I found. So first off the criticism, no, the Siesta Sisters are not based off of the characters from Toho. I made that as a joke because 07 is a fan of the Toho series, and there are a lot of similarities between Raisin, the most popular character uh, from the Moon People, and the Siesta Sisters. Raisin uses her eyes to induce insanity, which can be perceived as magic. She uses her ears to manipulate wavelength frequencies, and she also uses her uh, hand in the shape of a gun to shoot bullets in the shape of bullets compared to everything else in Toho. Meanwhile, over here, the Siesta sisters use their marksmanship, which relates to their good eyesight, in order to shoot someone and their ability to shoot effectively with a gun-like magical object, the most unmagical magical thing ever. So they use guns in order to shoot people, magical guns. I drew the comparison, it was supposed to be a joke, and so I could reference Toho, which I like, but some of you guys did not appreciate that, so... Whatever, it's a joke, we'll move on from there. Uh, but Bigger Fish the Fry would be the Siesta Sisters' name. They're not called the Siesta Sisters, they're called the Chester Sisters. It was a weird mistranslation from Witch Hunt because the romanization of their Japanese name is Siesta, which per was perceived as Siesta. Now, I'm going to continue to call them Siesta for two reasons. One, I've already called them Siesta so far in the game, so by this point, it'd be weird to change it up. But for two, even though if you're playing the Manga Gamers version, it's different. If you're playing Golden Fantasia, it's different. In this version, they're, it's called Siesta, and it's really hard to read Siesta and try and switch it in my mind every single time to Chesta. It, it's really hard. I'm going to look and read Siesta, and I'm just going to say Siesta. I'm, I'm sorry. Just know that their official name is Chesta. So, you know, we're just going to get that out of the way. But, on to more cool things is the... A, a little bit of things that you guys told me. I was trying to find a good name for Eva Beatrice, and someone told me that the community calls her Evatris. I'm going to be using that name so much now. Uh, if Maria turns out to be a witch, I'm going to use Mariatris. And as far as Angie is concerned, I'm just going to call her Angie until she becomes a witch, in which case I'm going to call her Angitris. Uh, it, or I may forget all about that, but I'm definitely going to keep Evatris and Mariatris. Now... On to the last thing, I know, you know, we're three or so minutes in, but damn it, I want to talk about this. Someone uh, linked me on YouTube private messages, which YouTube is cool and doesn't notify me about, so this is a month late. I want to give a special shout out to this person on screen. Um, if you are this person, thank you for this. You sent me a link. Uh, uh, to a download where I downloaded the original sprites. And because I downloaded the original sprites, I found a cool little Easter egg. Now, I'm not going to look at any of the folders that I don't know the name of, so don't worry about me being spoiled on that. But I looked at uh, Eva's sprite because something didn't sit well with me at the end of Chapter 4. And it was her eyes. They looked soulless. Here's the sprite right here. Now, I didn't notice because it was so fast, but yeah, her eyes are different. They don't look like any other model in the game where she's holding the gun. And so I looked at the eyes, I looked a little bit more, and holy shit, they're the fucking demon eyes. Like, from Higurashi. I, I'm so happy he brought that out. Or that, that he brought that back from Higurashi, yet yeah, I'm also completely terrified. That's the most awesome and terrifying thing I've ever seen. And it's a nice little Easter egg, and it makes this whole game a lot more creepier. 
So, I just want to go over those things. We're five minutes in, so I'm going to be recording for 25 minutes on this episode. Let's continue with, uh, Chapter 4, Alliance of the Golden Witch. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. I must have, I must have done something. So, uh, if you did not tune in last time, or, you know, it's been 24 hours since you've seen last episode, we are playing in the position of both Butler and his younger sister, who is now the age of him, brought into his world through magic, Mar uh, not Maria, gosh damn it, Angie. She has Maria's handbook. Now, because everyone bullies Angie, I'm going to assume that this handbook is going to be stolen or, or burned or something by this point. But it's really interesting that we were able to get Maria's notebook. And there's a lot of reasons why. Maria is considered to be a good person in terms of uh, Angie's point of view. That's going to change very fast once she sees what Maria does. But it means that we have access to all the weird shit that she does. Or that she, you know, talks about. I also have a bottle of water. Now, if only, just like the sprites, I could get all of the fucking music in this game. I People tell me that when I beat the game, I get a sound test uh, option, and I can't wait for that. I hope that that's also true in Chiru. Uh, speaking of that, Chiru has a little notification at the beginning not to distribute anything online about the game. Yeah, she was 9 or 10, I forget. Um, so, they say don't distribute any video or anything on any public websites or anything. Everyone under the sun, however, disregarded that rule and uploaded it to YouTube, so I'm gonna follow trend and do the same. Uh, that being said, I've made the moral choice to unmonetize those videos. When Chiru comes out, it's gonna be unmonetized, I'm not gonna make any money off of it, because, well, that's just morally what I feel should be right when the creator asks me not to do something and I ignore it. I wanna, I wanna meet middle ground on this. Now, the same message is also in Higurashi How, which makes me believe I can also do Higurashi How, but I'm gonna wait until Cheers done to give a little bit more time so that Higurashi How stops being so new, and, um, I could probably let's play that, but if not, if I don't let's play that, I might let's play a survival or horror game. I don't know which one yet. I was thinking about doing, um, doing either Silent Hill or, I was actually thinking of Silent Hill, Fatal Frame, or Resident Evil. I was hesitant on Silent Hill because I got the, uh, bundle on the Xbox Marketplace, and in Silent Hill 2, you start out going to these apartments and you go back and forth. I went back and forth about eight times, basically doing an entire puzzle, like, in Resident Evil, just to get one-third of a puzzle done. After that, I was like, oh, fuck no, fuck this shit, I'm out. So I'm hesitant on Silent Hill 1. As for, uh, Fatal Frame, I am really terrified of Japanese horror. Like, you have no idea how much Japanese horror scares me compared to English horror. But, you know, I, that'll be something for your guys' pleasure. And then Resident Evil's just funny. Um, anyways, so what's going on here is that through the, through the book, she's projecting Maria into this world. Not through magic, she's just imagining it. And that kind of makes Maria her only friend. I find that adorable and cute and sad and touching, you know? 
as creepy and as unsettling as Mario is on Roken Jima, when she's outside of Roken Jima, she seems to be a really cool person to Angie. She... Honestly, she seems like an older sister to Angie. Which, she only got through Bottler. Well, not older sister, well, you know, Bottler's a l little, a little bit weird. It might be an older sister, who knows. Instead of One, instead of One-chan, it's Oni-chan or something. I, I forgot, is it One or Oni? No, 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 Oni. Well, Onis are demons, but Oni is brother, and One is sister. I, I forgot. Oh, hey, it's Maria's birthday. Oh. Oh. I like this music. You can order anything you want. I love okay. It makes me feel so good whenever I see Maria and Rosa getting along. Because the end of chapter 2 told me that she's not always abusive. She's very gray and she tries her best. She tries her best for her daughter. But she has her own problems that get in the way of that. So when, when I see these two acting as a happy family, it, makes, it, it really makes my heart melt. En enchilada cheesecake, where well, that's pretty cool. This is so happy. I love it. That's, that's so nice! Wait a minute. Hold on, what date is her birthday? Because, remember, we're still trying to solve the date that, uh, correlating with Eva's date. Because Eva's birthday was the first half of that. I don't remember the rest of the date, though. I completely forgot the number. I completely forgot the number. It's like... It's on my Discord somewhere. I should have put up a, uh... You know what I should have done? I should have, uh... Made a file, a text file, and named the file... Like... The actual name. The only thing I've done is actually put the epitaph on a, uh... On a text file. Is this all in her imagination, or... Or is it something more? Because the background tells me that it's something more. But the for but before this, it tells me that it's just imaginations. So, if that's the case, then this is... From Maria's notebook describing this birthday, and Angie's thinking about it. Now, did it happen one-to-one of -one on what she's thinking? Probably not. But, I can, I can dream. It's the little things I have to hold on to after the end of Chapter 3. Because, um, that, that's another thing. 
I actually made a outright, uh, an outright gift. Oh yeah, she calls her mom because that is her mom. I made a, uh, not a gif, a, uh, a little, a little thing where I had, um, gosh damn it, I'll, I'll pull, a, I'll put the picture up in the bottom, like, right, I, I just threw this together at the end of chapter three. Okay, thank you, Oni-chan, not One, One is sister, Oni is brother. This is such a happy family, it's sad that they're all gone. Gosh, that's one of the things that this game does better than Higurashi, is that in Higurashi, after the events play out, you know, and they jump to a new world, you don't really think about the old world, but in Human Echo, they actually bring that to attention. When Butler and his parents die, they leave behind a daughter. They, they leave behind Angie. People get affected by things that happen outside of Rokunjima, and that's the thing that we have to remember. It makes this series not only sad, but somber. I, I can't find words to describe it, but... Mm. I've also noticed that she's saying Sakaturo. Is that... Sakatero. Oh! Oh, okay! I was thinking, what the hell is Sakatero? Did I miss something? No. It's the name of a stuffed animal that she was to receive that day. Sakatero is a nice name. Rosa. No, it wasn't. We found out that her business was failing. That's why she needed money, and she went to Roken G. Well, she went there for the family conference, but she went there to get inheritance. There's a lot of things behind everything that's going on that you don't think about. Sakura. Oh, well, it's a male line. That's right. Sakura is... Sakura... No. I think it's Sakura. Is a popular name in Japan. I believe it means... No, Hana means flower. It's it means cherry blossom, actually, if I remember. Maria's character in Card Mask main character Card Mask Sakura. Now I'm gonna have to play that game. Guard Master Sakura, I've never actually seen that, or played it. Apparently it's an anime. Can, can we just have this moment in time frozen? Can I just go back to this moment in time whenever I feel bad about this? That's true, if you open it now it will get dirty. Don't finish too quickly, you gotta enjoy your meal! That's something that I've learned. I, I eat quickly, 
And my parents are like, geez, can you even taste the meal? Oh, man. I just... This whole thing is happy, and yet it's sad at the same time. Because... I know these characters go to Rokinjima. It's like... The best way to describe it is like... If, if you know the characters are going to a Final Destination-esque place, and you can only watch from afar. It's... Uh... If Mama made it, Maria's happy with it. I... Oh my gosh. This is so adorable and happy. This is... This is really human. So human. It's these little moments, these little moments that keep me chugging on. <laughs> my heart, my heart is melting. That thing is the most adorable thing I've ever seen! I want one! I want one! I wonder... Oh my gosh, does 07 sell merchandise? Can I actually get this? It's so adorable! I... I have a problem. It's mostly towards foxes. I actually ordered a tiny cute... Oh, whoops. Move my mic a bit. I actually ordered a tiny cute fox. There's no reason for me to get it. It just sits on uh, a stand. But damn it, it's cute. I like cute things. I like cute, adorable things. So adorable! Anything I good, the thing's adorable! Wait! Wait! Did she bring that to Rokunjima? It really is a cute stuffed animal! It's so cute! That's... Oh my gosh. I I had my own stuffed animals when I was a kid. I'll admit that. I can't remember which ones I had, though. I remember I, I played a lot with my older sister's Care Bear. Uh, I think it was Shamrock Bear, actually. Other than that, I'm... Bleh. Other than that, I might have had just the standard usual bear. I had a couple of Beanie Babies, but I don't remember which ones I had. Nor if I even had that many. I mostly had, like, Legos, if I remember. The 
that sucks. Wow! What a fucking asshole! Wow! No, it can't be that these characters have a good life, you know, outside of Rogue and Jima, or that, you know, their life at home might suck, but at least outside it's pretty cool. No! No, they have to get the whole package! Uh... Well, anyways, guys... We're gonna end things off here. This was a nice episode. I needed this episode, okay? It's, it's these little things that, that matter to me. So, next time on Yumaneka When They Cry, we're gonna continue on with Angie and Maria's discussion. I assume in her head, not through the use of magic. Who knows? So until then, guys, until then, I will see you then.